Hi guys and welcome to another wrestling action figure review and today we're going to be looking at the Mattel, uh, um, not Elite, but although technically it is an Elite figure, but it's from the Defining Moments line and it is the Defining Moments Shinsuke Nakamura. Anyway, here we have him in the box, so yeah, it's just your typical Shinsuke Nakamura up there with SN, nice window showing off the figure. Defining Moments down here, similar to that of a title. On the side, you just have a picture of the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura, as well as two people grappling down there. Up here, you just get the logo, Shinsuke again, people grappling. And on the back, you just get this nice back view showing off like zippers and buttons and whatnot, you know, similar to that of his costume. And down here, if this was the American version, you'd get a read up, but sadly, we just get some copyright crap. But oh well. And on the bottom you just get more copyright crap. Anyway, that's enough of the package. Let's move on to the figure itself. Okay, now that we've got Shinsuke out of his box, let's take a look at his accessories. Now he only comes with one, technically two, but you know, only an extra one. And it is an entrance vest, as you can see here. It's kind of nice. It's got like a red kind of glossy, not glossy, kind of matte finish, but it just comes up as glossy on the camera, almost purple-like. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool, and mm -hmm. let's just put that to the side and take a look at Shinsuke himself, who also has my personal favourite, the two entrance attires, which is this gold studded jacket. But yeah, let's just start off with the face. Now looking at that, it looks a hell of a lot like him from this angle. So you see that, you're like, oh that's Shinsuke Nakamura. This angle, it just reminds me of Glenn from The Walking Dead. One eye seems just too big. Like, he's a man that can convey, convey a thousand words with, like, one facial expression. He did that with that segment with AJ Styles and Sami Zayn on SmackDown a few... Was that a week ago? Was it two weeks ago? But yeah, he was just there with his eyes. He... he, he <laughs> just like... What? <laughs> yeah, it was a really funny segment, but... I think if they'd have made both eyes the same shape, and this side seems to be a little bit bruised up almost, like he's a bit bigger. But yeah, it still definitely reads like him. With his gum guard there as well. Eyebrows are done nicely. The buzzed off side here, which... Uh, it's a bit too dark. Same thing with the beard. Once again, if... Uh, I have this problem with most wrestling figures, there's quite a lot of wrestlers have beards but if they were to just like kind of tone it down and do what they do with face, um, body hair like on chests and stuff I think it'd look a lot nicer but yeah here you have his entrance jacket which is really cool not all of the gold buttons are positioned perfectly accurate I don't think any of them are actually except for that one actually, that one looks really good just there in the middle but yeah uh, I, I can live with that, you know, you can only tell if you're literally right up next to it and even then it doesn't look too bad for a mass-produced toy. But yeah, the jacket looks really cool with some nice stitching and everything, it looks really nice. A little bit of paint mishap there, but I can live with that. Shoulders look really cool, the gold continues around there. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this side of his hair looks awesome, it's a rubbery plastic and it just looks really cool with half of his head shaven as Shinsuke has it. Looks really cool. But yeah, that looks really nice. Tell you what we'll do, we'll just take it off as well to show off the underside. It just pegs in with like one big like kind of tab. And I'd say take his armband off first before you take this off, it just makes it a lot easier. And it's pretty easy to take off actually, it's, it's a lot softer of a rubber than uh, the other entrance vest I think. And it's just a lot easier to work with. So, yep, there we go, now that that's off, here we have Shinsuke, I think as far as the book goes, they chose a good one for him, you know, it looks a lot like him, bodybuild wise, so yeah, that's really cool, you know, not too muscular, but then at the same time, his muscles are pretty defined, the armband, as he has, it does come off, but you know, I can live with that, I'm not intending on playing with it. You've got the silver painted belt buckle, although it should be black with silver. Well, actually, you know what? I don't think it should be black with silver. I think it should just be a straight up black. This is based off his NXT debut. Was it Brooklyn? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it's been a while, but yeah. The back looks really cool, you know. Same deal with his uh, wrist gauntlets, uh, gaunt, I was going to say. <laughs> Too much Batman, his wristbands, whatever you want to call them. 
silver there. The trousers look nice and baggy, you know, as his trousers are, so that looks really cool. They also have sculpted knee pads, which I do like. I think they should have also, uh, I might be wrong on this one, but shouldn't these shoes be black, the bottom side? I haven't seen that match against Sami Zayn in quite a while, but I'm sure they should be black. But, oh well. Trousers look really cool nonetheless with the sculpted knee pads, which do help with articulation. I like the way they bunch up at the bottom with the creases and folds. This is an entirely new mould for this bottom section. The top section, I think they used it from someone else, I'm just not sure who. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. And you can also put his other entrance vest on. I think it's a bit overkill with the red, even though that's his colour. Uh, it, Yeah, I think if they'd have made uh, the belt black like it was meant to be. And once again, I'm not sure, but I'm sure... Well, I'm pretty positive, I should say, that his shoes should be black on the bottom, the soles of the shoes. But, yep, as you can see, I'm already having a hard time trying to get this on. Okay, I've got it. doesn't normally like working with me. And then you just peg these in here. Once again, I'm glad they opted for plastic over a uh, cloth, as I just think it would have thrown the figure off. And, yep, let's try this, shall we? There we go. Oh, nearly... Nearly, of course, I, I was able to do it off camera, but I mean now it doesn't, okay, I've got it. Uh, if you prefer this look, uh, more power to you. I think the red just goes a bit too much, you know, too, it's too overkill. And I don't like how high these sit up either. I could always pull it down, actually, now that I think about it. Let's just try to pull it down. Get his hair out of the way as well. Give it a pull. Okay, that looks a lot better, but even still, yeah, I much prefer his other one. It's just such a nice contrast with the black and red. But yeah, just to give you a look, there's nice creases and stuff. It's pretty hard to work with, though. I'm just going to take that off as it'll make it a lot easier when I... Just trying to get this over his head. Yeah, taking off the armband makes it a bit easier to kind of manoeuvre over his body. I think I should have made it so that it's open on uh, this side as well as it would have made it a hell of a lot easier. Oh, come on, work with me, King of Strong Style. Okay, okay, I've got it. Try and take it over the head first, then take that section off. Okay, but now that that's done, let's move on to Shinsuke's articulation. Now, it's pretty standard for an elite. You get a ball, ball, um, ball joint in the head, so you, know, you can look down a fair amount, you can look up, look to the sides, get a bit of pivot, not much, but ball hinged shoulders which also swivel swivel at the bicep sim single hinged elbows a swivel as well as a hinge in the wrist you get a ab crunch it's kind of weird it feels like it's almost magnetic like as i bring it down it feels like something is pulling it down a little bit there's like a weird click as well Sounds almost magnetic, but yeah, you can look down that much, look up that much, so you can get that uh, famous, if you have a display stand, it'd work a lot more. Okay guys, sorry about the quick pause, I just had to stop filming for a second, but as I was saying, you can get him in that cool, come on, pose that he likes to do. But moving on from that, you get a swivel in the waist, ball hinged legs, as well as a swivel at the top of the thigh double hinged knees and basically they're just kind of ball jointed uh, ankles you can't do much due to the way the trousers fall but overall it's a really nice figure you know you can get it at smith's for about 25 pound you, you just gotta love shinsuke nakamura there's just something to him he's so awesome and yeah the figure for a first elite does him some decent justice i reckon with the next face sculpt they'll absolutely nail it because this one i reckon's 50% of the way there, it's just the one side looks a little bit funny. But it's all just a matter of perspective and which way you're looking at him. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed my review, stay tuned.